For many people, sports cars are not about speed, but rather a statement of personal style and values. Therefore, small retro-inspired racers never lose their popularity and keep drawn in hordes of fans who love classic looks and nimble driving experience. Today we'll cover the coolest newcomers from the segment of small retro sports cars. So subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and let's give in to some nostalgia. We start the engines now. KTRM 7 170 When you thought that KTRM cars cannot get any lighter, the British manufacturer of Lotus 7-inspired sports cars comes out with a new model that weighs less than 970 pounds. You can order the 170 as a factory-assembled unit, or try out a role of a mechanic and buy a disassembled kit. This track toy gets unique 14-inch silver or black Juno alloy wheels wrapped in Afen ZT7 tires. There are LED taillights and a new striped graphics. Since it's the entry-level KTRM, the engineers fitted a small 660cc three-cylinder turbo unit from Suzuki that makes 84 horses and 86 pound-feet. Matched to a 5-speed manual gearbox, it will dart the 170 to 60 in 6.9 seconds and will top off at 105 mph. Two versions of the model are on offer, a road-focused 170S with a windscreen and black leather seats and a track-only 170R with a sport-tuned suspension, limited slip differential, a carbon fiber dash and race seats. Morgan Plus 4 CXT Morgan Motor Company has been known for the continuous production of retro sports cars with old-school wooden frames. However, the new generation Morgan Plus 4 and the CXT variant is truly a beast of another kind. The model keeps its 1930s looks, but fully embraces the new CX generation aluminum platform, raises clearance, and wears a five-piece underbody protection to become a rally great racer. The chassis setup is fitted with a new bespoke suspension featuring EXE DC coilovers and new wishbones. The heart and soul of the Morgan Plus 4 CXD are the BMW-sourced 2-liter turbo that produces 255 HP. A 6-speed manual, electronically controlled limited slip diff, raised exhaust system and 9 inches of clearance are here to provide a visceral driving experience in the wild. Lastly, the wheels and tires are new, and the rear houses an equipment rack with two spare wheel tires, a toolbox and two storage containers from Rotopax. Donker Vort DA GTO Individual Series The most customizable car in the roster of the Dutch manufacturer invites prospective buyers to the company's facility to spend a day with one of the company's owner and create their own individual series unit exactly as they want it. This Donker Vort can have an exposed carbon fiber body or be painted in any color of the palette. The main options for the model also include different size brakes, Bosch Race ABS, electronic power steering, AC race seats, roll cage, and a rear-view camera. As before, the individual series comes powered by 2.5-liter 5-cylinder turbo, but now it gets new fuel injectors and engine mapping to deliver extra 15 horses, 435 in total. Further exclusivity of this DHGTO is ensured by the fact that it's likely to be the last road-legal version of the car, as well as the fastest Donker Vort ever built. It will reach 124 mph in 7.6 seconds, and its top speed will be capped at 177 mph. Wells Motor Vertage After a failed attempt to find a sports car that would fit his personal preferences, the British entrepreneur Robin Wells began a secret development of the retro-inspired mid-engine coupe with an affordable price tag. The Vertage rides on a stiff steel monocoque chassis with tubular steel frames and a double wishbone suspension front and rear. The two-seater is just 13 feet long and size-wise can be compared to a Mazda Miata. At its heart lies a Ford-sourced 2-liter four-cylinder engine with 208 horsepower that is controlled through a six-speed manual gearbox. Weighing just 1,900 pounds, the Wells Vertage sprints to 60 in 5 seconds and does 140 miles per hour. The initial batch of the model includes only seven units that have already been sold to the friends and family. However, the company plans to increase production to 25 units per year. We will definitely appreciate you smashing the like button. 
Each thumbs up guarantees more episodes in your inbox. Let's keep rolling. Eagle E-Type Lightweight GT The British Eagle specializes specifically in restoring original Jaguar E-Types built between 1961 and 1975. The company also creates limited editions that are basically thoroughly re-engineered and modified versions of the model. The brand's most recent creation is the Lightweight GT that draws upon the 12-unit 1963 Lightweight but uses the less rare Series 1 E-Type chassis. This project took over 8,000 labor hours to build and included the construction of the new aluminum bodywork and installation of the new 16-inch magnesium wheels, independent wishbone suspension with Allen's dampers, and modern brakes with four-piston calipers. The E-Type's powertrain goes through a transformation as well. Instead of the 3.8-liter straight six, the car gets a 4.7-liter XK twin cam six cylinder that outputs 380 horsepower. The standard 4-speed manual is replaced by a 5-speed unit. In the end, the lightweight GT weighs just 2,242 pounds and reaches 170 mph speeds. Legenda Automobiles Turbo 3 Throughout 1970s and 80s, the segment of hot hatches was not dominated by the Golf R or Honda Type R. Instead, it was the tiny Renault 5 from France that had reached 5.5 million in production by the time it was discontinued. The French Legenda automobiles are willing to return the icon to its former glory under the Turbo 3 moniker. The original chassis now wears a predominantly carbon fiber body that was whitened to accommodate larger 16 and 17 inch wheels. The R5 T3 has new LED headlights attractive roof spoiler, two-piece rear diffuser, and dual exhaust steps. This retro racer rides on a modern double wishbone suspension and is brought to life by an upgraded 400-horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder sequential or manual transmission. However, the cabin of the new Renault Turbo 3 departs from the retro, with a dual-zone climate control, digital instrumentation, two-spoke steering wheel, and racing harnesses. Blaze EV Classic Inspired by the lineage of sports cars from 1930s through 1960s, the Blaze EV is a Japanese single-seater that qualifies as a moped, his vintage exterior, and can still deliver exciting driving around the town. The minicar weighs less than many motorcycles, around 440 pounds, measures under 8 feet long, and gets minimal bodywork. Its wheels are retro-style 17 inches with wire-spoke design, while well, the round headlights house modern LED units. The drivetrain system is very bicycle-like. The single electric motor has a continuous output of 0.82 horses and peaks at 4 horsepower and 21 pound-feet. It is paired with a small battery that can still provide 31 miles of driving and 31 mph of speed. The battery pack is swappable, so Blaze offered a spare one for additional charge. Finally, you can recharge the CV a home 100 watt outlet. Do not hesitate to like this video and jump into the comment section to discuss today's lineup. Which model is your favorite and do you agree that today's cars should look like the classics? Smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News if you do not want to miss the upcoming episodes. More informative content is on the screen. We'll see you.